Everyone's talking about the Mac Pro wheels. You know, the $400 wheels Apple sells as an upgrade option to the Mac Pro. And if you wanna buy them separately, they're 700 bucks. People are even making skateboards out of them for crying out loud. So I can't afford a Mac Pro, but I do have this Power Mac G5 and I want to install some wheels onto it. And I'm gonna do it for under 50 bucks. Let's go. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really, that's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too because we're about to go to the hardware store to get some wheels for this thing. This is gonna be the best hardware store trip ever. All right, let's go. That was the worst hardware store trip ever. Okay, so first of all, two steps away from the register, my bag rips, everything goes all over the floor. And you know, I'm, I'm gonna date this episode right now, but we're going through a pandemic right now. And I was wearing my glasses out in public on this particular lovely rainy day. So, you know, wearing a mask, wearing glasses, everything was foggy, I could barely see anything. So I ended up grabbing the wrong washers as well. But to make things even more complicated, out of the eight washers I grabbed, one of them was actually correct. I remember trying it out on the stem of the wheel and it fit just fine. I get to the checkout and the lady who was very nice by the way is like, hey, you have this one ALC and these are AKCs. Do you wanna go swap them out? So I thought, okay, I'll swap out the one to match the other seven. Wrong, I needed to swap out the other seven to match the one. So none of these washers fit, good. So that's out of the picture, but at least the wheels are good. All right, so in more detail, what exactly do we have here? Pretty basic caster wheels, three inches. Each is rated for a load bearing capacity of 175 pounds. The stem is one and a half inches long. Now that technically won't clear the computer, but if we put a like another nut in there or something, we should be fine. We might lose some of the stability, but overall it should be fine because the computer is only about 40 pounds itself. And uh, this little thing here, Apple, I know you're not really familiar with what a brake is because your $700 wheels don't have those, but that's what this is. It's a brake mechanism so the wheel doesn't spin anymore. Yeah, so uh, I know your wheels look pretty, but you might want to check into that. So we have that and uh, the washers again that do not work, but maybe Crazy Carl has some spares. And uh, I also bought some nuts. And uh, hopefully that will work. So before we actually mod the G5 and drill a few holes in here, I just wanna say thank you to Snazzy Labs and MKBHD and Unbox Therapy for being my inspiration for this amazing experiment. MKBHD actually did a really good video that explains why the wheels from Apple are $700. It is kind of a perspective changer, so go check that out too. So, do you remember Crazy Carl? No, of course you don't, because he was in an episode like a billion years ago. Anyway, he is my personal carpenter, and he helped me saw off those legs of that computer desk I bought a long time ago. Well, he's the man with the plan, and with the tools, and all 10 fingers. So we're gonna have him drill a few holes into here, and we're gonna then come back and install these wheels in the layer. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm at Crazy Carl's place now, and it just wouldn't be a Crazy Ken's Tech Misadventures episode without more ridiculous stuff happening. So, before I went to the store to pick up the parts, I went to the website just to browse things and make sure I had the right stuff. Well, I did a terrible job. When I found this wheel, the website recommended a 3 8 inch nut, which is pretty typical. I thought, whatever, 3 8 inch nuts are used everywhere. Even a lot of my camera gear stuff is all 3 8 inch diameter. But the recommendation on the website was wrong. When I read the spec sheet for this, of course, after buying the nuts, I found out this is actually 7 16 inch. So this actually will not fit at all. So we swung back to the hardware store and picked up a new bit for the drill, 7 16. So now that will work and we got some new nuts as well. But now I just realized a new problem thanks to the help of Crazy Carl. These wheels are a little big. I don't really know why I got such big ass wheels. So, you know, if they're like here and they spin into each other, they're not gonna clear. So they kind of need to go on the outside, but I'm really not sure if I want to put wheels too close to each other on the inside anyway, because balance. I kind of forgot how much this thing curves. So, you know, the wheels got to go like here. So we don't have crazy balance issues. So we're gonna try it out, drill some holes and see what happens. Hey, if worse comes to worse, I have another one of these. So we prepped the aluminium for drilling. We're doing this freehand because we don't have a press. After the first hole, we busted out the rat tail file, actually the same one I used to fix the iMac Pro stand, and we filed away those pesky burrs. We also put a cloth down to prevent the burrs from entering the max cheese grater holes, but that was a terrible idea. 
We tested the wheel and the stem didn't fit too well, so Crazy Carl drilled a little bit more and then it fit perfectly. So then we switched to good old cardboard instead of the cloth and finished drilling. All right, the drilling process is complete. Thank you, Crazy Carl. You actually didn't do too bad of a job considering you were drilling freehand. And of course, I don't want to forget to thank Steve for donating this awesome machine to my layer. And guess what? Steve actually has an eBay store where he sometimes sells other vintage computers and other goodies. So the link is in the description. Thank you, Steve. All right, wheel time. So now that we have the holes, well, we need to put some wheels on this thing, right? That's kind of the point. You know, it's definitely not the most pretty, but it works and it's cheap. So basically what we're doing is we're just doing a, a three, no, excuse me, seven sixteenths inch nut on the bottom just to give it a little more space because otherwise the stem is gonna stab the bottom of the computer. And then we have a washer. Then I will thread the stem through, put a smaller washer on top, and then another seven sixteenth, sixteenths inch nut. Can we just use the metric system? Come on. And uh, that will tie it all together and it should work great. Let's try it out. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward, but with the way this day has been going, I wouldn't be surprised that some sort of nuclear explosion bursts out of this computer as I'm trying to put the wheel in. But hey, it at least can't be as bad as the other G5 I worked with. Remember when that thing literally exploded on me? Yeah, that was a good time. This will go to the G5. Whoa. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yes, it, it is gonna kinda stick out over the curve a little bit. Washer. And nut. Now it's time to bust out my handy dandy wrench, which is flatter than weak old beer. This thing is actually really handy to get into those tight spaces between <laughs> this area right here. All right, got it a little snug there, perfect. And yes, it is tilting outward a little bit, but again, I think that looks cool. That actually might work out just fine. Okay, let's try one more. Sneak attack, I actually did two more back here, you just weren't looking. But I saved the last one for you, and uh, this way you'll be able to get a better view of the nuttiness. Insert stem, secure the washer. You're gonna love my nuts. Good old Vince from Slap Chop. Just gotta get my nuts in there. And then bust out. Flat Stanley. And there we go. The wheels do clear. And actually, now that they're tilting out a little bit, we have a little more space than we did in the original planning phase. So that actually ended up working out quite all right. So now, the real test. We gotta put it on the ground, or on the floor, and see if it rolls. Unfortunately, I just remembered I can't afford a floor, so we'll have to go somewhere else later. But for now, we can just use my desk, which is probably the worst thing to use because it's not perfectly flat. Fun fact. All right. Holy crap, guys. Oh my gosh. It, it rolls. It, it actually moves. Holy crap. This is amazing. This thing actually works. Okay, let's take it for a little bit more of a test spin. All right, I brought you back to Johnny Ives' white room. This is where you're gonna learn to walk for the first time. I know you can do it. You're doing it. Hey, you're doing a pretty good job. All right, keep going. I said keep going. Why don't you keep going? Ah, oh, son of a funnel cake! Oh. Oh. oh, that thing's solid. You, Apple. Whoa, this thing makes me feel really small. Anyway, the wheels work great. Maybe I should start selling $700 Power Mac G5 wheel kits. Hmm, if you want one, get one now. They're cheap. So thanks Steve for donating the computer and thank you Crazy Carl for helping me put the wheels on. And if you guys want any more cool stuff from myself or the computer clan, feel free to hit the join button beneath the video or with the link in the description and you can get some of that cool stuff. This was a lot of fun. The Crazy Ken curse definitely struck a little bit, but uh, it all worked out in the end. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Catch the crazy and pass it on. Mm -hmm.